When we built this visitor center that we're standing in front of, we one of our goals was to actually try to tie in other aspects of um, being outdoors and drawing people you know, into nature. And so one of the ideas was using some art, sculpture. I had done these dragonflies in miniature form for several years and then uh, someone told me uh, that his daughter-in-law was asked the question, what are kids like these days at recess? And she said they still like to look for bugs. So that kind of inspired me to do something. We wanted to create experiences as you're walking through the property that you just kind of, the sense of inquiry discovery happens. I intended to only put a couple in here and it ended up getting a little out of hand. Larry had done a, a pretty large collection of dragonflies and mayflies. That, I don't know, there might be 30 of them around here somewhere. And we ended up being the recipient of it here, so he donated those to us. So we're grateful to Larry for helping us share that natural history message through art with, with kids and families. These are things that are just kind of stitched into the fabric of the nature out here. And they're actually all animals that are native to this area and to this habitat. Well, they're all recycled, 100% recycled metal. They're all handmade and they're all different. All of a sudden you see these dragonfly sculptures or the mayfly sculptures we have. You know, these things that kids can interact with, they can see up close, it can kind of create that kind of sense of wonder in the child. The goal is to start a conversation with children. And my work's done. The rest of it, the story has to be told by them. What we really want to try to do is stitch that opportunity for families and kids to connect with nature and give them that memory and give them that opportunity to kind of have that lasting moment with it before they leave. It doesn't get any better than that.